it's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Let's see. Yesterday, oh, there is a car. I'll wait for the car to be. All right. I had to use all my RAM to look. Yesterday, I worked from home and I got my taxes done. And I went to Morgan Hill and I said to my tax guy, here's my tax stuff. And he played with all these things and hit a bunch of buttons and looked at all my deductions and deduced that I'm getting a $3,000 refund. $1,200 from the federal and $1,800 from the state. However, as I walked away from the mailbox, having mailed the forms, I only remembered signing one of them. So I think the other one's going to come back, which is really just pretty stupid of me. There's no other way to put it. So we'll see. We'll see whether that's what real that really happened. So off it goes. Someone said, why didn't you do it electronically? Well, at this time of year, nobody submits theirs through the mail. Everyone submits theirs electronically. And so what that means is it actually gets done faster in person if you mail it in the first half of February. Somewhere around the end of February, beginning of March, it becomes faster to do it electronically because more people are mailing theirs in. But for now, doing it the long way, just fine. So you go with your TurboTax and wait a week and a half to get your refund. Also, there's a, a glut of people filing electronically at this time of year same number of people working no matter what and if you do it in February or April and the beginning of February middle of April online that's there's a big rush and it's of course in the middle of April there's a big rush to mail them in too but uh, as far as sending them through the mails anytime before the end of March is pretty fast so. as they say bitch better have my money so hooray for that. I was expecting to pay, and I know why I didn't. I mean, I didn't work the whole year, and when they take taxes out of your check, it's under the assumption that that's your salary for the whole year. So when you only work five months, they're going to take out to mention taxes. So whatever. So I don't know. It'll go back. They need to raise their taxes anyway, so I'll just pay them then. I'm not really worried about it. If I wanted to have, if I didn't want to have so little money left over after taxes, I'd get another job. That's what I always say. That's what I did. So that was done, and that's exciting. And I had to go to the eye doctor to pick up my new sunglasses, which I'm not wearing right now because it's dark out. But man, they look good. Here, I'll show you the thing that came in. Look, see? You can totally see it because it's a black case at night. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, you got to be proud of that shit. Oh, very nice. Oh, here we go. We're going. We are going. We're going like a like a going villain. And worked from home, worked on some orthopedic stuff. Uh, so I've got these animations of different procedures and some of the clinics want it, some of the clinics don't. And they need to tell me or else I just have to guess and that's not a good idea. And so uh, I heard back from another clinic yesterday, so that's four, six to go. And then after that, I guess it's just a matter of um, working with the hospital's website, because the hospital has an orthopedic website and the university has an orthopedic surgery website. And uh, I, I have to make sure that they say the same thing, pretty much. So that, that's what I do all day. And last night, I watched the Golden State Warriors and Dallas Mavericks. And with no time left, practically, Monte Ellis, I believe it was, strips the Mavericks of the ball, and they call the foul. And because he was standing on behind the three-point line, they gave uh, Jason Terry, I don't know, Mike is Alino. They gave him three free throws, of which he made two. So at halftime, it was 70-61 instead of 70-59. But it, first of all, it's a bad call because it was a clean strip, and they had to watch the replay to determine that it happened before the time expired, but when they were watching the replay, they were not allowed to notice that the contact was all ball, because that's the way the NBA is. Very annoying. And then, of course, I do like what Jim Barnett said on the television broadcast. He said, 
let's not miss the point here. Why are you even trying to strip the ball with less than a second left? What are you going to do with the ball even if you, if you stole it cleanly? You don't have time to shoot. Just get in the guy's way and leave it at that. So it's one of those things where it's not about being right, it's about being practical. And there was no point in forcing the turnover when you weren't going to do anything with it anyway. You just wanted to be in the way and prevent the good shot. And I agree with that. I thought that was very good analysis, especially considering that this all happened, you know, live as they're going to the halftime break, right? So they don't have time to think about this analysis. And Jim Barnett just spits it out like he'd been thinking about it all game, which there's just no way he could have been. He's pretty good. The Warrior basketball team, broadcasting team, is probably why I watch the games. I mean, it's not as good as San Francisco Giants, but it's still really good, and it's one of the best I've seen in the NBA. They're not homers. They point out when the Warriors do stupid shit, which is all the time. I mean, I bet you they lost the game last night. I don't know. It's a night game. But, uh, you know, hopefully the Warriors will learn something from tonight, last night's game. That's all I can say. That's all the time we have today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.